Hey, welcome back to uh, Boku Vlog. So it's been a couple months since we've done some videos. We've been on vacation and um, holidays and the weather's just been nasty and we all got COVID and holidays again and the weather's still just crappy. So I kind of retired the smokers right now until the weather changes and um, I, I'm, we're all good. I'm just, I'm tired all the time. My fatigue level is pretty high. so. We're going to wait a little bit on some smoking videos, but we'll be back to that here, here, here pretty soon. But right now, I want to work on some cast iron. Um, I started working on them a couple years ago. I've done a couple pieces. I haven't done a whole lot. I've just been kind of buying and just putting them up. And uh, a lot of them need work. I got some that I've done. I did this one a few weeks ago. This one right here is. It was really bad, and I wish I would have made a video on it. This is a. Uh, actually was my uh, my grandmother's. She would have been 102 and it was her mother's, so my great-grandmother's. And uh, it's a muffin pan. Um, I think it could go back as early as 1880s. It was really coated, it was really bad. It turned out really good. I'm not gonna say it's perfect, but it's really good. I wish I would have made a video on that. I may include what it looked like with a picture. It was pretty coated. Um, a neighbor person had uh, I grew up with gave it back to us. My grandmother had given it to her. And uh, she said that, uh, for my grandmother passed away. She just said I like it to be returned to the family. She's getting older. The neighbor The neighbor lived grew up next to us is getting older and uh, she she thought it was time to give it back So really super excited about that um, Obviously, we're not going to do all this cast iron today. There's just way too many this one is kettle I bought a week ago for 20 bucks. It's gated. No mark on it. We're going to do this one today I bought this one um Yesterday it has number three. It's gated too. I did check them both for lead. They're negative Bought these two yesterday. I started working on this had all the rest off of it left in the oven Forgot about it earlier because I went to the store um, So it's rested a little bit. It's rested a little bit um, There's some pitting I'm gonna try to work on a little bit, but I'm not taking a sander or grinder I don't like doing that the cast iron, but um, Everybody has a, a method. I rather leave the pitting on it and uh, let the seasoning kind of fill back in over time. Uh, I bought this one today for 10 bucks. Um, it's number eight and it has letter C on the back. I, I think it might be an unmarked Wagner, I'm not sure, um, but I'm not gonna call that one out just yet. I'm still trying to learn my markings and different makers. I'm pretty sure this one's a lodge. Um, it's got three notches and it says 10 on the back. Can't read anything else. It's too rested. This one actually were, uh, looked a lot worse than this one yesterday and I bought this for like two bucks it's no name it's probably Taiwan or something but I'm gonna redo this one I bought it for two dollars at Goodwill it's gonna go on the wall somewhere and then we're gonna do these over here some of these are Taiwan some of them are lodges um, we'll get those going here pretty soon and this is I, th I believe it says nine inch skillet on the back and it's number six I think this one possibly could be an unmarked Wagner Wolf Definitely find out once we get it cleaned up. I've got some other ones behind this I've done. Um, this one I think is from the 60s or 70s. It's an unmarked lodge. I've got some more down here. But uh, it's probably going to be, be a multi-video. Multi um, obviously, I'm not going to do all this in one shoot because it's going to be a three-hour video. So we'll probably do this one today, maybe some of these. And then uh, the rest of them we'll do at a later date. All right, we'll be back in a little bit and we'll get the process going on here. I am, uh, first I'm gonna start with, start off with Easy Off um, just because it looks like somebody seasoned it, it has seasoned it over the rest and I wanna see what I'm gonna fight with. And uh, so we're gonna use some Easy Off. And once we get the, uh, the seasoning and grime and gunk and stuff off, then we'll use a 50-50 solution of uh, vinegar and water in a bucket and let it set for several hours so we'll be back here in a little bit all right i know it's kind of a mess in here but we're going to do these three little skillets right here this is a no-namer it may be a lodge i don't know this is one that is definitely a lodge and it tells you right on the back this one has no name on it and this was a taiwan i'm probably going to flip this one because I may keep it for a wall hanger, who knows? We'll see. So these aren't in too bad a shape. They're not all rested out. They just need to 
I'm not gonna, I could reseason them and be done with it, but I'd rather just take it all the way down. It's pretty easy. Um, this is what I call the easy ones. So I'll probably do, actually, I'll probably do these two in the same bag and do this one in a separate bag. And uh, I'm wearing a mask. It's probably not the right kind of mask, but uh, it is what it is. I got gloves on and uh, I'm telling you, wear masks because it gets stinky. It's not good for your lungs. And uh, if you're doing this in the sink, you could do it prior to putting it in the bag, but I like doing it in the bag before. So I'm gonna spray it down, but I'm, and I double bag. So there's two bags into one, to at least. And uh, so what I'm gonna do is basically just kind of spray it down. I'm gonna flip the bag over and spray the other side down. So right now I'm doing the top. I get most of the sides. If you get the, if the back side is kind of hard to get, but if you get the bag, Trust me, it will all get there. And I can kind of smell it now. I normally do when the weather's nice and it's above 40, 50 degrees. I'll take this and throw it outside in the garage. Again, for several hours. I like 24 hours. We'll see, these aren't too bad. We'll see how it plays out later. I've got plenty of bags. So I'm gonna take this one too. I may just flip this one over. I've never done, you know what? Tana, can you find me two more bags in there? Let's just do it separate. Just do it the right way. So I've got that one done. I'm gonna do the Taiwan that I bought for Goodwill for $2. Definitely gonna do that one as a wall hanger. Actually, nope, that's not the wall. That's not the one I bought at Goodwill. It's over. I think my mom bought this for like a dollar. She bought, I think all these that I'm doing right now, she bought at a garage sale dollar a piece god love her she loves her cast irons too she gave me this uh popover can i think it's griswold slash uh thank you it's it's it's, it's uh from that is pre-1957 it's unmarked but it's got the markings on it and i looked it up and it's uh wagner slash griswold and uh Honestly, when she gave it to me, she gave it to me for Christmas, and I love it. I never heard of popovers before, and uh, definitely I looked it up. Something I want to definitely try, and uh, I'm going to work. She, she worked on this. I'm going to work on it some more. Um, God love her. It looks good, but she's like me. She's learning how to do cast iron, so we're kind of learning together. I don't need it. I don't need it. I'm good, Tana. And uh, we're going to do this last pan right here. Let it set. We made a lot of set all night. Come back tomorrow. We may break in, clean them up a little bit. At the end of the day, is if they need to be cleaned up some more, we we'll just repeat the process. What we're exactly doing right now. So the best way, the cheapest way, because I know sometimes easy off can get expensive. Just let it set for 24 hours. Most of them. If you got a cast iron like these, these will come off pretty quick. Yeah. The muffin pan over here that I did with the process that I used, I probably used three cans of these. But that's something I'm definitely keeping. It's not ever going to be sell, sold. It's going to be passed down to my kids. And uh, I would have bought 30 of these to bring this back to life. So it's there. These are done. It's stinky in here. So what I'm going to do, I don't have another tote. I'm going to put them in the exact same tote that I was using. Just be careful because uh, um, the tote that I used to put the kettle in, it's going to get real grimy and greasy. And actually, I may just tie these up a little bit and just leave them right here. They'll probably, that's actually probably what I'm going to do. So I don't want to make a big mess on the countertop here. I think we're going to be good. Are you smelling it, Montana? No, so she's not smelling it, but she's got her, her face covered too over her shirt. But you can actually smell it. Actually, this this mask really helped because I've done before maskless, maskless, and uh, it's not good. So we're gonna let this set. I think it'll be good right here. Um, like I said, usually I take it out to the garage, but with the temperature today, that's just gonna slow the process down. And that's definitely what I don't wanna do, but at the same time, I want to keep us safe, 
healthy. Because when I take my mask off, we'll see. I may put him in a tote. I may take him out to the garage because uh, we definitely don't want to bring in this fume. I may even grab a regular trash bag and just wrap it up and, and tie it off there. So we'll be back. I got a five gallon bucket. We're definitely going to use in one of the videos on the pans. It's just what I was wanting to do today. I thought it would fit. It wouldn't fit. I mean, basically you put a 50-50 mix of vinegar and water in here. And then uh, you, want your hand, you want everything all covered as much as possible. And you just let it set. You let it set for an hour, eight hours. I've heard of people doing 48 hours. I'm not going to sit there and say I wouldn't try that. I never have. But uh, I would... I would probably wouldn't do it more than 24, but that's just me. Uh, I'm no, definitely no expert. I don't know what I'm really doing. Just trying something that works for me. But everything that I've read, I definitely wouldn't go over 24 hours, but if you find 30 other posts that says do it, do it. But I wouldn't. Good luck. Hopefully uh, you're learning something because I'm definitely learning something as I go. And we'll be back here in a little bit. All right, we're back. I was trying to use a five gallon bucket, but this wouldn't fit in it. So we had to improvise. So what I'm going to do is just take some easy off. Make sure you wear gloves because it will tear up your hands. And it's probably good to do uh, wear a mask um, when you do this um, because of the fumes. So if, especially if you do, I'm doing it outside. If you're inside, definitely, because I'm telling you right now, the fumes are horrible. I'm just going to coat it. <laughs> she's going to set obviously i'm not going to leave it there i got a top i'm going to uh, put on top of it i'm going to bring it back in the house because uh it'll work a little quicker it's cold out here it's like 30 degrees and i want to get this done and uh, not have it froze so all right we'll be back here in a little bit hey just welcome back we're actually about four and a half hours in um as you can see you can starting the gunk is starting to slide off, which is normal. So this is something that we'll keep as far as the bin for another use after we clean it out. This is what we'll use this for. And uh, it's looking good. I don't think I'm gonna to touch it right now. It's old, just let it rest. I'm probably gonna let it rest overnight here in a little bit. We're gonna look at the other stuff that I was doing earlier. So, it's looking good. Back here in a little bit. And uh, we're just going to keep let this rest. And it's going to be a, probably a several day process. It's long and slow, but like I said, I don't have a self-cleaning oven. And if you don't, it's definitely not going to be a one day process. But it's going to be worth it. It's going to be beautiful. We'll be back here in a little bit. All right, so we're back. I actually got this in the sink right now. I didn't want to use the tote that I was using um, because I didn't have enough vinegar to fill that thing up. The Ideal, um, I found this styrofoam cooler. I'm using it. Um, it's almost to the rim. A little bit of it is exposed. The best way is to have it all submerged in the vinegar. Um, what I'm going to have to do is uh, probably come rotate it every... 30 minutes see what happens um, this is the first time I've used the 50 50 um, water vinegar in some type of uh, tub I've always just kind of sprayed it and just done it in the sink itself but uh, we're gonna let this set for a little bit um, I may move it but I got it in the sink right now we've only used this cooler one time so it shouldn't be leaking I just want to make sure I don't want it out in the garage right now and that's where i want that's where i truly want it but it's getting cold it's about 25 degrees and i want this to work so it's here in room temperature 72 70 degrees somewhere in there 
and uh we'll just check on it every few hours and uh see what happens we'll be back here in a little bit bye all right we're back actually got kind of excited to carry it away started seasoning it up and didn't make a video but i used uh something different it's called grapeseed oil um, i've heard a lot of good reviews about it and i just used old shirt rags and um, they're clean they were clean they're not now but uh i want to try to um even this out over here because there's some dry spots i don't know if it's because it's so old or what but as soon as i put the oil in it seems like it just soaks it soaks it up so I don't want to over oil it, but I'm going to go back through here a little bit, go back to the bottom, try to wipe off some of the excess stuff. I've got the oven set on 425 for an hour. I'm going to put this upside down um, and see how it turns out. Definitely probably going to take two, three, four coatings before it's all said and done and one coating tonight, and then I'll have to work on it again on, on Wednesday, but uh, which is about, uh, it's Monday today so, or Sunday. so. About another two and a half days we'll Welcome be back. back to boku vlog so it's got one coat on it it needs uh, definitely another two or three coats it's actually looking really good bottom looks really good i can't work on this for a couple days um i just got too much stuff to do but uh it's definitely going to get some more coats on it it's not sticky it's really hot right now um but uh we'll definitely be back and uh, this is going to be shining here soon, hopefully. All right, we'll see you guys later. Hey, welcome back. This is the last part of the video. This pan actually, uh, or this pot actually turned out really good. I've got three coats on it now. I'm not going to put any more probably on it. It's actually really good. There's a little black speck there. I think that's where the oil got too hot. It'll even out once we cook on it. And uh, I'm going to do some ham and beans here soon. I may do one more coat. It's a little dry in there. I'm going to oil it up probably one more time and then put it back in the oven for about 250 for 20, 30 minutes. But uh, from where it was, she looks really good for being 100, 120 years old. So hope you enjoyed this video. We're definitely going to have more videos. Um, I've got several more that I'm doing right now. I'm not making videos on, but I've got some pretty nasty, resty pans. And we're definitely going to make videos out of that. All right, tune in, subscribe. We're going to do some cooking videos here soon. Hopefully the weather, weather will break. And uh, hope you enjoyed this. Later.